Hey YouTube viewers, it's another video by 97 Pab. Today I'll be showing you, as you can see this is a PSP, today I'll be showing you how do you uh, get internet on your uh, PSP. People think it's a little bit hard because they follow the instructions but apparently it does not work properly. So, in this video I thought I might as well show you guys. Okay, first you'll need to go along to settings. You'll need to go on to network settings. As you can see here, network settings, you want to, like to click X. You want to go down to the bottom to whatever that says mode. Where it says something like mode, I don't know how. You say, as you can see, I'm already connected. So I'm just going to go along and delete that device. As you can see, I've deleted it. Now, when I go along to the internet, it only has the, that PlayStation on network. As you can see, that PlayStation not network at the top, just ignore that because that connects to my PS3, that's really good. And I get to play PS3 games on the PSP. Alright, let's get to it. Right. First, you want to go along to a new connection. Second of all, you need to go along to scan. Third of all, you need to click, uh, click on your network states. Fourth, you need to go along with the arrow there. You see this arrow here. Uh, as you can see, it'll come up to your key W E P. Now, for example, where to find your W E P key? As you can see, I only allowed to show that quickly. I'm only allowed to show that quickly because I can't show you guys my W E P key apparently. But the W E P key is basically underneath your router. It under your router it should say the WEP key. And all you have to do is just write the WEP key down and uh, that's how you basically do it. As you can see I'm going to type in my WEP key now. So just bear with me guys, sorry about the delay. See, once you've typed in, as you can see, once you've typed in your W E P key, you want to go along to that arrow there, and you want to go along to easy. Now, custom, actually, people will choose easy, but while you are, choose custom. Go along to custom, automatic, automatic, do not use, and actually select this option. Do not start. Do not start, as you can see you've got your connection, oops, 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 no, 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 I don't want to cancel it. As you can see you have your uh, settings, connection list, you want to go down, and you want to click the arrow, and you want to click X to save the changes. As you can see I'm going to click X. As you see here now, once you've done everything, it will come up to test connection. As you can see here, test connection, I want to test connection. Option 89 e address, please wait. As you can see, testing the internet connection, please wait. As you can see, once that's done, it will come along with uh, your network states. Oops. As you can see, I've uh, connect. And once you've got your states up to date, there, you want to go along to triangle and you want to go along to test connection. Just to make sure that if your connection's still up to date, just uh, test it. Just to make sure see if it's up to date. Testing internet connection, please wait. As you can see here, we have your states, and at the bottom it will say internet connection succeeds there. And that's basically it, guys. All right. Guys, once you've uh, connected your uh, Wi Fi on your KSP, you'll need to go along to system update. Because once you connect your internet, for example, when you connect your internet on the KS3 or KSP, it will require a system update with it. As you see, I've already done the system update, guys, this morning, so uh, there's no need to worry. And that's basically it for this, guys. Uh, that's how you basically uh, uh, connect internet on your uh, uh, ESP. And um, please, guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and like the link. Uh, thanks for watching, and peace out.